<clears throat> Good evening and salutations, my BNB fans. So, the truth finally comes out. That is right. Towards the end of this episode, after this long winded explanation from start to finish, even though we had to sit there and practically repeat then there everything that wound up happening on Friday, she finally winds up getting to the truth. And he finally knows about, you know, about his girlfriend and Zenday hooking up. So he is shattered. He's shattered. He has to then get it out of her to some extent. It was one point where it was about to go commercial break and she's just crying. He's just like, just say it. Just say it. What 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 up happening? But now he knows. And if you saw the previews, you know what he does next. Now, the conversation with Carter and Zende was pretty interesting because there's one thing that Carter said that made sense, right? Because, yes, I do believe that this was not Zende's fault. You know, he didn't know that she was, you know, in those mints, those special mints and everything like that. But when Carter was like, you know, the fact that she is your cousin's girlfriend should have been enough for you to pump the brakes. Like, wow. Because the whole time he was like, you know, you need to take accountability. You know, what about your part? What about your role? was like, what, what are you talking about? Like, he didn't know. But he knew that that was his girlfriend. And that should have been enough right there. That is something that I can sit there and agree with. And I think people who are looking at the situation be like, yeah, he didn't take advantage of her. That is 100% true. And anyone else thinking that, I don't know what the hell to tell you. But what he said was 100% correct. Now, Steffi piss, right? Because while Deacon and Smith, they're looking through those emails and being like, you know, who's sugar? What's going on? Um, trying to figure and just, just the fact that he saw 10 toes and knowing that she has nine toes, he's like, am I, am I grieving? Or like, this really didn't happen. Steffi ain't too happy. Now, Steffi, ladies and gentlemen, Queen of LA, okay? Don't you forget it. Steffi here in this whole, what do you mean Deacon thinks that um she's alive? The toes, toe, toe count? I don't give a damn about that. She's dead. She's dead. I killed her. I mean, you know, so it depends. <laughs> Just want to kind of reiterate that, you know, in case you, um, have any ideas thinking that I killed your mom, it wasn't self-defense. But she's like, yo, listen, this woman's done, she's all our lives, and I don't need him running around spreading these lies and just, you know, keep bringing her name up and everything like that. I'm done. I'm over it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go down to, to that restaurant and shut this is down. And that's literally what she does. When she walks in there, right? She has that look on her face like she's ready to, you know, take off the shoe, put the hair in the ponytail, and get ready to give somebody the business. Okay? When a woman looks at you, she bites her lip. Either mean you're going to have a really good time, or you are in for a horrible time. A wild guess. Because I saw that. You go back and re 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 watch that. You see it. You tell this man is in for a rude awakening. And she walks out to him. She's like, hey, listen. I don't care what you thought you saw. You need to stop. You need to shut your mouth. She's dead. I killed her. Okay? I killed her. Maybe, you know, it's, it's himself. I killed her. And, and you know she 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 uh she gives a strange she's like yo listen you need to stop with these lies and these fallacies about this woman being alive she ain't alive she's gone I she's gone okay she's moving forward you need to shut your mouth I thought you had closure but apparently you doing stuff I ain't just I ain't cool with okay and as I said before 
as she put it, she is the queen of LF. He's a, he's <laughs> definitely a ballsy chick, huh? I'll sit there and say that much. She is a ballsy chick, okay? She walked, remember she walked into Deacon's place? Popped Sheila in the head and said, I'm queen of LA. And I'm not going to sit there and use the curse words that I would normally use, but, um, he's a ballsy one. <laughs> I mean, she may be wrong sometimes. She may kind of come across as a bit of a Karen, but she's a ballsy chick, okay? And when she says she's queen of LA, I take that ish seriously. And apparently, Deacon, Deacon's about to sit there and take it too. Um, yeah, I feel like that's about it. <laughs> I keep forgetting, every time I look at the, the time or whatever, it's like, it's six minutes, so I was like, ah. Guess I'm done. There's, there's really nothing else to say. There's nothing else to say here. But I have plenty more to sit there and say during the live stream tonight. 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll sit there and talk about all the shows. Born the Beautiful, Young and the Restless. I got my thoughts on that too. General Hospital and Days of Our Lives. Um, so come through. I'll be streaming for an hour and a half. We're going to be snitching talking about all the soaps. And yeah. I'll see you soon.